Okay, so we're going to start with aerobic respiration. And aerobic respiration starts with uh, glucose. Right, we're going to talk about glucose catabolism or glucose oxidation because we're going to oxidize glucose or take all the electrons from glucose and use the energy in those uh, electrons to do some work. So the first step of glucose catabolism is glycolysis. And we make a little bit of ATP and this is via substrate level phosphorylation, right? Direct transfer of uh, phosphate group to ADP to make ATP. And we're going to begin oxidizing glucose here. So NAD plus gets reduced and takes the electrons to become NADH. And then we're left with I'm just abbreviated pyruvic acid. So our three products are ATP, NADH, and pyruvic acid. And remember, it's just a little bit of ATP, uh, some NADH, and then some pyruvic acid. <coughs> uh, pyruvic acid then goes on to the next step, which is the Krebs cycle. Cycle. And in the Krebs cycle, we have the complete oxidation of glucose. So now we're going to completely strip all the electrons that were in glucose, completely oxidize it, uh, and form mostly NADH. Now I'm not going to write it in, but FADH2, which is the same thing as NADH, just a different type of electron carrier, or taxi cabs, right? And uh, NADH represents the most important product. Uh, we lose glucose, or sorry, the carbons in glucose, various steps here is carbon dioxide. And we make a little bit of ATP. Um, ADP. And again, just like in glycolysis, it's by a substrate level phosphorylation or uh, direct transfer phosphate to ADP. So our products here are carbon dioxide, ATP, and the carbon dioxide, one carbon for every carbon in glucose, because we've completely oxidized glucose, no more carbons after this point. And our most important product is NADH. It's the one, it's, uh, we make a lot of it, it's completely stripped all the electrons from glucose. Okay, so these are our taxi cabs, NADH. Um, they take our taxi, or sorry, our fare, our passengers to the electron transport chain. And I'm just going to draw the electron transport chain as a box. A series of electron carriers in the membrane. Uh, and then electrons are going to get dropped off there. And then when electrons get passed, protons get pumped out right to create our proton gradient or our chemiosmotic gradient when NADH becomes uh, oxidized or loses its electrons it goes back to NAD plus and this goes back to either glycolysis or the Krebs cycle and takes some more electrons from the next incoming glucose piece Okay, so the electrons now from glucose that we've oxidized, or we've oxidized glucose, take the electrons, use those electrons to do this active transport, transporting of the protons up the concentration gradient from low concentration to high concentration, create this chemiosmotic gradient. Uh, and then uh, we allow facilitated diffusion of our protons come through and then this generates ATP and most of our ATP gets made this way and it's a major product all the work uh, all the work from the electrons is done to make our chemiosmotic gradient and then this chemiosmotic gradient then is used to make ATP and most of the ATP comes from this step uh, at the end of the way the electrons that get push pushed around have to come to our final electron acceptor and in the case of aerobic respiration, our final electron is acceptor is oxygen. So oxygen gets reduced and it becomes water, which is our waste product.
So with the electron transport chain, our product is our gradient. And the ATP synthase makes most of our ATP and we produce water. Okay, so the, the electron transport chain, all it does is create the gradient. And it's the ATP synthase that makes the ATP using that gradient. Now, anaerobic respiration, I'll put that in purple, is exactly the same. Uses glycolysis, uses Krebs cycle, uses the electron transport chain. The only difference is that the final electron acceptor is different. So it could be something like nitrate. And that gets reduced, so we call that nitrate reduction. Right? It gets reduced, it's going to gain that electron. It comes nitride, or something like sulfate, which gets reduced to sulfide. But the basic thing is exact same process. Uses glycolysis, uses the Krebs cycle, uses the electron transport chain. It just has a different final electron acceptor. Okay, so that's aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration.